Fire signs are Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. Hello, my fire sign people. This taroscope is actually an extrapolation of the Sagittarius strawberry full moon. And that full moon was about love and relationships. And the overall tarot card for the collective was the Queen of Cups, the Queen of Hearts, the Queen of Love. So the overall card for the new moon in Gemini, air energy coming in with a justice card, number 11 of the major arcana. And it's 11.01 on my clock because I just said that. So a lot is about a new pathway for you and a lot of this information is coming for Twin Flames. Fire signs are the loudest, the proudest, uh, the most prideful, the most bombastic, the most audacious. Um, they are dynamic. They are just fascinating to some people. They are fast moving. They are very passionate people, strong on the creativity level and just uh, overall very warm and charming people. They can be very argumentative, hard-headed and just unrealistic and also destructive. Fire signs literally light up the room and light up the world. New moon in Gemini energy report. Aries, we're starting with you. Aries, you are the first sign of the zodiac. You come in loud and proud with innovation, with initiative, with uh, drive and passion. You're impulsive and uh, you don't think before you leap. And that's what makes you so brave, okay? Um, coming in at the full moon of Sagittarius, a fire sign energy. This is your cousin. Sagittarius is also a fire sign. You got the hangman. The hangman is about taking a different perspective. The hangman is about looking at things from a different angle. And we're talking about relationships here, okay? We're talking about how to bring balance into your relationships with this new moon and Gemini energy. Gemini is the opposite sign of Sagittarius, all right? Um, and it's about duality and it's about our shadow side and it's about um, communication and information, all right? So what I love for you, Aries, is that you got the Queen of Cups as your how to bring balance into your relationship card. This was the overall energy for the collective reading for the full moon. That reading is going to be so um, bang on for you, I'm going to say, all right? The Queen of Cups is about emotional security, a confidence, intelligence. It's about um, emotional safety and it is about love at its purest form. It's about protecting love and nurturing love and all types of love. In terms of your romantic relationship, this is really asking you to put yourself in your partner's shoes or even your, your prospective partner and how can you be more compassionate how can you give them even more aries you're known to be extremely selfish sign and the thing is you may not even realize it because you never even considered that fact okay turn things around turn things upside down actually dig out things like is, i i see this thing of like Turning something upside down and shaking it out and getting these new ideas, okay? And that is very much the hangman perspective. Um, I'm getting as above, so below for you. And uh, an analogy about walking on water as well. It's like to lighten up your relationship, to make things not so heavy, to turn things around, to get that 180 that you're looking for in your relationship. It's about pouring more into it. It's about pouring into yourself, pouring into your community, pouring into your family, pouring into your hobbies, pouring into your passions, pouring into your love. It's about purifying your heart chakra. Salt water be very um, useful for you at this time. And I really feel like you need to like, like, dunking your head in a bowl of salt water okay or pouring salt water over your head in the shower um i think it's going to help you just be more loving what you need in a relationship is someone who is very patient very understanding very nurturing um 
you with other fire signs can be dangerous, okay? Because fire meets with fire and it explodes. Being with another Aries might be a little bit difficult for you, but at least you would definitely understand each other. Uh, being with a Leo can be kind of dangerous because they're very big on the ego and you're also very selfish. So it's like nobody wins there. But being with a Sagittarius, however, can definitely work because they love to travel and move fast and it can work. Um, but I really think the best sign for you would be a Libra. It's the opposite of your sign, but they're very, very, very understanding people who will look at things from every perspective to be understanding and to come to a fair decision about things. And that's what you need. All right. Um, Earth signs might be like definitely not a Taurus. A Capricorn could, but like depends on the genders, I think. Like a uh, Capricorn man with an Aries woman could definitely work out. Uh, Virgo, yeah, they could take you on. Virgo, a Virgo female with a male Aries, yeah. Yeah, I, 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 I concede, I consent, I, I approve. Um, moving on to... Um, who is the next fire sign? Leo. Leo. For the full moon in Sagittarius, you got the Nine of Pentacles. This is fantastic energy. It's about financial independence. You might want to check out uh, the Pisces reading. They also have the Nine of Pentacles as a way to bring in balance. Also a good sign for you to be with too. Um, I'm feeling a little distracted, but I think the reason why is because the, the way to bring balance into your relationship is the devil card and the devil card also represents capricorn which is a great match for you you're both royalty but you have to be mature and you have to be healed and you have to be ready okay uh a leo man with a capricorn woman leo man you better have your money right or that woman's gonna destroy you okay um capricorn man with a leo woman leo you woman you better be mature mature and uh understand your shortcomings because a capricorn isn't putting up with shit from nobody a Leo and a Leo. Wow. Talk about royalty. That's gorgeous. Okay. You guys are going to be fighting over uh, the mirror a lot and you're going to debate who's more beautiful and who's more gorgeous. Uh, a lot of hair. But um, coming back to bringing balance to your relationship, having the devil card, check out the strawberry full moon reading from 2023. And you're going to see how that keeps coming back up. And what that means is there is a cycle you keep on repeating over and over and over again. Uh, you might have been doing this for a decade already, okay? And it's time to break out of it. And the time is now. It's 11.10 on the clock. So that is a new pathway breaking free from a new thing. The devil card is about um, having a, a mental state that is actually enslaving you. That's actually your chain to. It's also about substance abuse. It's a very strong card for substance abuse. And it might be what's breaking your relationship. 11, 11 right now uh, on the time. So talking to twin flames, talking about karmic relationships and false twin flames. Also, shout out twins. Very strong toxic energy is there. You need a purification. You definitely need a purification uh, coming through. And I would say uh, some calicite, golden calicite is going to help you. But um, also I'm seeing like two birds coming in on these cars. I don't know if you guys can see them. But uh, there's a black bird and, and, a, and a golden bird. So I feel like canaries and crows are going to be very important for you. But it's definitely about something coming back around and around and around and back again. And it's time to let it let it go and cut it loose. Uh, moving into Sagittarius, you guys came in with your own energy on the Sagittarius full moon. Amazing. The Knight of Wands, fire energy charging in, bombastic, loud, proud, and totally brave. Okay. This is a brazen person. The Knight of Wands is the most fierce of all the knights and fighters. And they, they come in to defend what is theirs and what is, um, to be protected and who is being protected. It is a page of wands so coming in, how to balance your relationship, to tap into your own talents tap into your own creativity and your own passions um this is the divine counterparts this is the knight and the and and the page this is um a slight age difference between your cards but i see the same level of maturity you guys want the same thing definitely on the same page sagittarius you'd be great with another sag you'd be great with another leo you'd be great with an aries you'd be great with a gemini also this is a beautiful beautiful composition of two people um bringing balance into your relationship, it might take some music, to be honest, some music and some travel and some leisure and some pleasure, some good food, a nice fire, a great fireplace. Um, go for it. Keep the fire, fires, the home fire burning bright. Go to my YouTube channel, same username as my TikTok and Instagram, kelly.kimberly, and check out what we're talking about.